Ray Bassett believes Zeland's record when it comes to tackling the issue of illegal immigration is abysmal. Ireland's claim that Rwanda legislation is driving migrants to its shores indicates the European Union is afraid of Britain in the wake of Brexit, a former diplomat has argued. Ray Bassett, Ireland's former ambassador for Canada, Jamaica and the Bahamas, further suggested Dublin had an abysmal record when it came to deporting people who were in the country illegally. Michael Martin, Ireland's Tornish to or deputy PM, spoke out yesterday, suggesting people fearful of being deported to the East African country in accordance with the plan were now heading to Ireland instead. In an apparent swipe at UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, Fianna Fáil leader Mr Martin added, maybe that's the impact it was designed to have. Mr Bassett, who was heavily involved in the negotiation of 1998's Good Friday Agreement, told Express.co.uk, the Rwanda Bill, now Act, is causing consternation among EU governments because it demonstrates clearly that the UK government is using the freedoms, achieved under Brexit, to send a message that it is serious about illegal migration. If the UK is successful and the new law manages to stop the boats, there is will be strong demands in countries like Ireland and France for similar tough measures. However EU rules make it very difficult for these countries to follow the British example which is very popular with their general public. This explains the unusual level of criticism from politicians including Mr Martin and French President Emmanuel Macron, Mr Bassett pointed out. He continued, there is also some fear that illegal migrants in Britain may flee to Ireland rather than risk being sent to Rwanda since there is a common travel area, CTA, existing between the two countries. Ireland has an abysmal record in departing illegals which only adds to the attraction for some in crossing the Irish Sea. Furthermore, there was significant opposition to Ireland joining the EU Migration Pact, as many saw the deal as surrendering sovereignty on immigration matters to Brussels, Mr Bassett suggested. He said, there would appear very little practical benefit to Ireland from joining the full pact, most of its provisions could be done nationally, if the country so desired. It is significant that the main opposition party, Sinn Féin, has changed its position on large-scale immigration and opposes the EU migration pact. Government sources are said to be very worried that the pact will damage them electorally. There was a huge demand in Ireland for tougher immigration laws because the country was perceived as a soft touch for illegal migrants, Mr Bassett stressed. He said, almost all the migrants who arrive in Ireland have travelled through safe countries to reach there and many have applied unsuccessfully for asylum in other European countries. The system seems unable to deal with the situation. The government and other pro-EU parties have tried to blame opposition to the lax immigration policy of what they term the hard right, rather than engage in constructive dialogue about what is a matter of serious and growing concern to the majority of the population in Ireland. Also speaking yesterday, a number 10 spokeswoman said it was too early to jump to specific conclusions about the impact of the Acton Treaty in terms of migrant behaviour. She added, of course we will monitor this very closely and we already work very closely as you would expect with the Irish government, including on matters relating to asylum. But of course, the intention behind the act is to have it serve as a deterrent and that is why we are working to get flights off the ground as swiftly as possible.